The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to have as our guest today, Jim Bartolioni. Uh, tomorrow will be Stan Harley, and Friday we're going to have Smoking Joe DiNapoli will be on. He doesn't smoke, but he's sure got a lot of things to say. Anyway, what a, several questions. I'm going to answer these, and then we've got a really important thing to talk about uh, in the market. Basil pretty much covered it. I cover it a little bit differently, but what I've posted up here, or, or what I look at in the morning, folks, uh, I watch 8 to 12 different things. I always watch eight things on a thing. I never watch any like 12. The, the charts are just too small. But with the size of the monitor that I have, I can see these clearly. I'm looking at somewhere between 30 and 15 minute charts on the things looking for the support and resistance and the patterns that I'm looking for. That's that's basically what I do. I don't stare at the machine all day long right after the show. Uh, you know, I take a break and then I come back every half hour or so. If, if the limit minders go on, then I'll certainly... Uh, uh, you know, look at what needs to be done. But that's pretty much, uh, you know, what I do. I keep it as absolutely as simple as possible. You'll notice that I don't have any oscillators or anything like that on the machine because I, I quit using those a long time ago. They're nice and colorful, but for me, I, I just look at the ratios and the proportions and the ABCD patterns. That's really, uh, really all I'm doing. But I have my alerts set up, and when they go on, that they go off, that tells me that this is where I should be uh, getting ready to do something or not do something and that's the real key to this now another question that someone asked and that is uh, about Jim Hurst and the profit magic of stock transaction timing if I knew any of the secret stuff that Jim Hurst did no I did not but Jim was a customer of mine customer of mine when I was at uh, Drexel Burnham from 1970 he was my customer from 77 through uh, 82 we remained friends all those years and uh, after he retired he moved up to Grass Valley in Nevada City. That's in the Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevadas. And another one of my old neighbors and customers lived there. His name was Clint Walker. If you've got to remember Cheyenne movie, one of the nicest men you'd ever want to meet in the world. He didn't have a, he didn't have a, what do you call it? A, uh, um, uh, he was just very humble. He, he was not no. He had no vein bones in his body. He was just one of the kindest and most humble men you'd ever want to meet. And they became friends, and uh, they 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 were both trout fishermen, and that's basically what they did. Jim died a long time ago, but uh, uh, Cheyenne or. Uh, Clint Walker, he died, I think he was about 94. He was in great shape, still looked terrific. And uh, that's uh, pretty much his. His daughter was an airline pilot for United. She's since been retired. But uh, that's that was my relation. I was able to do something really nice for Jim Hurst uh, many years ago after I was at the uh, Mercantile Exchange in Chicago. Um, Ed Dobson contacted me from Traders Press, and he wanted to republish, you know, the uh, book. But he wanted to do it with a, uh, you know, with with a series of things and, and make it a really long, drawn out thing with, uh, you know, make it a, a what a trading course and a trading manual. So I put him in touch with Jim Hurst, and they did, and they worked it out. I think they sold it for seven hundred dollars, and it was a really good way of uh, looking at cycles. And I'm probably if you search for it on the internet somewhere, you could probably find it. And it's probably a heck of a lot less than uh, seven hundred dollars, but that's uh, that was my relationship. Actually, Jim did not. Jim Hurst did not like to trade. I think he put three trades on in the five years that I had, and they both they all worked. But he just never traded very much at all, which was fine with me. I didn't care because he was he was just a nice guy, and uh, I you know I was mainly in futures, so it really didn't didn't really matter to me. Now something really big happened in the stock market yesterday, folks. At one o'clock in the morning, I'm going to bring this to your attention here and it's really important from my perspective this is where we were here let me get this up here and you will you're gonna have to do some of this work yourself because i've lost uh, uh yep peter was a big a big fan of uh 
of that because we all worked together. There was uh, Peter Elides and Eddie Horowitz and myself. Uh, this was before Stan Harley, but uh, those were back in the old days, as they say. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a look here. If this is the this is the Dow Jones E Mini, folks, and I want you to see what happened last night. We hit the exact 78% level from the low that we made on the 20th, the exact 61% relate, related level from December the 6th. Folks, I'm just overtired. That's basically it. I was up at 1 o'clock when this thing was hit, so I, I'm a little bit tired. No excuse. Anyway, you'll see a perfect A, B, C, D pattern there. They all came together, folks, exactly at the price of 34 Five thousand and a fifty, I believe. Okay, that in itself is very, very important. But if you remember, we've been talking here uh, day after day, week after week, about the importance of that Nasdaq number that we always watch. You know, and it was very, very important here because if you bring this up, you're going to be able to see it here. This is the we had exactly two standard deviations uh, on the Nasdaq. Uh, and not only that, but we did the same thing in the S&P cash. Now, what was really amazing to me, I, I, it was 1 o'clock in the morning here in Tucson, and I was watching Bloomberg, and Bloomberg, t t uh, Tom Keen came on and reminded everybody that we had just made the two standard DVA. I almost fell out of my chair. The first person I called, of course, was John Jameson, and he, he was watching it, and he got a big kick out of it, too. But the fact that they were looking at it tells you that you ought to pay sort of attention to it because uh, it's really, really very important. And it's really important for two reasons today. First of all, uh, if, these, if this thing closes lower than that number, oh, my goodness, you, you don't want to be long stocks because they're, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, so just be very, very careful. As they say, uh, what was it, uh, Don Don Adams used to say, "Be afraid, be very afraid." I don't think it was him that said that. It might have been uh, might have been Clean Eastwood or Bruce Willis. I don't remember one of those dudes that did it. But uh, that's neither here nor there. So we'll watch it. Another market that uh, is in very, very uh, important spot here, and it's in the news all the time. And it's very important what happened here again. The same thing. We had something really big happen again last night here in this treasury bond this is the weekly chart folks this is going back over two years or 21 22 you'll notice here we had the low back there in march okay that low was matched last night in the treasury bonds it matched it it didn't go below it it matched it and that's a huge market and we've rallied a little bit from there. That means this market is extremely oversold, oversold, and it's probably getting ready to rally because it's in the news all the time. Higher rates, higher rates, higher rates. You know, they just keep pounding away at it. And so that's uh, the main thing that you've got to remember. When they keep pounding on the door, uh, look at the windows because they're probably not going to uh, give you the right information. So that's why the patterns are good. They tell you what you're looking for, you know, that you're not able to risk very much at all. So that's the main thing. That you have to pay uh, very, very close attention to. Okay, and uh, also keep a close eye on this cr uh, crude oil, folks, because they're 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 f they're feeding you tapioca again. And uh, you know, I know we're up here in new high ground, but you got to be careful. Hey, we'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, since we were talking about the bonds, I brought up the, uh, you've seen the, I'll bring the chart of the notes up too, but here's the TLT. Now, this market is the ETF for being long bonds, and as you can see, it's been breaking down badly, but you'll notice now that we are we are completing now the 61% retracement. We're down about a point from where we were, so that ends up just a tiny bit today, so we could be bottoming here for a pretty substantial rally, but rates are going to go higher. Higher, folks there's I don't think there's any question about it but the whole world uh, already knows that right now and that's usually the wrong thing uh, the wrong thing to do so let's uh, remind ourselves of that now there's a lot of things that are happening in the metal markets let me get this up here to uh, show you what we're watching here let's start out with the uh, with the gold market just one second here we are setting I, I'm unable to bring that gold up I don't believe I can bring that gold chart up right now hold on let me Give me one second to see if I can. I don't think I can. I think I can. I think I can. All righty. All right. Let's get this up here. We can take the gold first and take a look at it. Now, we're setting right at the uh, 1840 level right now, folks. We have taken out the highs of uh, where we were uh, just last week, on well, two weeks ago on January the 5th. We've taken that out. And if we get any higher than 1840, uh, that means we're probably heading up to 1852. Uh, That'll be interesting. Now, we also have uh, some patterns going on uh, that are uh, happening as we speak here. In fact, platinum, as we'll, I don't trade platinum very often, but one of our friends over in uh, Cairo does, and he asked to take a look at that today. So I wanted to show you where we are in the platinum. The 61% retracement on the platinum came in at uh, 8, excuse me, at 1027, and we're already at 1031. So we've exceeded that, but we've made that ABCD pattern. So that's going to be uh, very interesting because this has been really strong today up over fifty dollars in platinum folks is a that's a huge amount as you can see by the wide-ranging bar 
that's there. So it's the same thing. Now we're having pretty good action in the in the uh, in the gold also. So it's 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 up about thirty bucks too, I believe. And if you remember yesterday, I had an order. Those of you that belong to the twenty four seven group, I had an order to buy it at eighteen oh eight, and I canceled it. And the reason why I canceled it is I felt that we were getting ready to have a pretty severe meltdown in some of these things. And I said I'd rather see what happens. And it turned out to be the wrong thing to do. And uh, believe me, you, you have a lot lot of those in your trading history so you just got to shake it off and move on there's nothing else you can do about that there's nothing else now another one that we need to be watching here uh, is the silver market let's get the silver up here because we just hit the uh, 1.27 expansion as we're on the air right now i just heard the beeper go off and that completed the abcd there at uh, 2405 uh, and that was the uh, number that we were looking at there so we're hitting a lot of different numbers uh, right now we're looking at the same thing in the uh, gold market is also hitting a, a 1.27 expansion there at 1841 so these are going to be really interesting to see how these things unfold unfortunately as we're doing this i'm not able to see uh, all of these as they're happening but at least i can talk about it well by golly it looks like well we'll see what happens here let's move on to the next one here folks uh, you, you got to be really careful here in the stock market because of the fact that if this market breaks below those numbers that we made last night and all of those uh, below if we break below that 50 uh, uh 15,050 uh, that's breaking two standard deviations, folks, and that is really, 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 really negative. So remind yourself, if this if this NASDAQ gives up today, it's very, very important. It's been very bearish, and, uh, you know, we've completed an absolute a perfect pattern. But perfect patterns fail. We've seen it over and over again. D go look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, itself as the average. I mean, you know, that's a... That's a tremendous one to pay attention to. I don't know if I used to keep it here anymore, but uh, uh, nope, I don't keep that, that index anymore because of the fact that I use the futures. But if you did the Dow Jones index, you'll see that it was absolute perfect Gartley. And uh, if it fails, oh dear, we know we know what that happens. So uh, remind ourselves that this is uh, we live in interesting times, as the old Chinese curse says. So that's uh, important to to remember that. Um, we will have uh, Jim Bartolioni as our guest here. He's going to be talking to us about some things uh, from the European markets, which is a great perspective. And then tomorrow will be Stan Harley, and Friday, I guess I mentioned again, will be we have Joe uh, Joe DiNapoli on. Several people have asked a question about the. Uh, uh, oh, shucks. Oh, the, the crude oil. I personally believe we're up here at this 85 level in the crude. Let me get this up here and we'll, uh, I think we can take a quick look at it without any, any, without too much trouble here. This is what, here, here's where we are. We're looking at a double, what I think is a double top. But again, you know, my opinions, uh, hold on. Thank you, Mr. Z. Um, well, you know, these guys, I've known them for a very long time, so that's helpful. You'll see this up around this 86 level uh, in the level is making a new high. That may or may not be an extended ABCD pattern, folks. But if you wanted to be really creative, you could go back and look at the time frame between the August the 23rd when we were made that beautiful Gartley down there at 63 that we were fortunate enough to buy. Uh, and then, you know, we went, I, I did, of course, we didn't take the whole thing all the way up. You can see the three drive to a pattern, a pot, three drive to a top pattern that occurred on October the 25th. Then we dropped from 86 all the way down to 62. This is what we call a volatile market, folks. <laughs> it gives you lots of opportunity and tremendous opportunities. You can see here. Uh, that you can see the minimum three drive here uh, between January is what we're forming, I believe. But you know this thing could accelerate and go, uh, you know, a whole lot higher. We we know that. And all I'm doing is I'm looking at patterns that allow me to uh, tell me whether I'm going to be uh, on the right side of the market that I want to be on. Because if I do that, I know one thing, and this is what I'm watching here. And here's here's one where I was wrong. Let me get this up here. But I wasn't wrong for very long. Hold on here. Uh, I'm going to be, Bob, I'm going to cover the euro because we are really on the, uh, the cutting edge in the euros, they might say. But here's the uh, last week. Uh, we were looking for a possibility of that three drive uh, pattern happening. It backed off about a dollar a barrel. 
and uh, we ended up taking a, a, a 40, 40 uh, pip loss on that. But th that was a very nice three drive pattern on the four hour. And I'm looking at this same pattern now has already extended up to this area around the 86 and change level around 8660, I believe, is uh, where that pattern may or may not end. But at that point, I don't have to risk very much, folks. You know, this th this business of predicting and stuff like that is pretty difficult. So uh, all I try to do is I look at these patterns and I said, OK, this is what I think is going to happen. And that that's all I can do. I'm right. I'm a little right, a little more than I'm wrong. But the number of times that I take big losses is very, very small because the one thing we can control and the thing that I focus most on that floor traders handbook besides the standard deviation was the probability of ABCD patterns working folks. And if you have any, if you don't have any doubt that these things work, uh, you know, buy a copy. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. I mean, it's that it's that simple. It's 30,000 examples, I believe. And uh, it's, it comes with a 90-minute video, and uh, it's in a 90-page PDF file. That's the end of the commercials. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned. Captain Bart Leone. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we're back and we're talking with Jim Bartolioni of Bart's Charts. How are you doing, buddy? 
I'm doing great, Larry. How are you? Good to always hear uh, from you. Uh, well, whatever you can hear from me, it would be interesting because I frankly don't have much of a voice today, but uh, the rest I of know. it's okay. What's I'm feeling on, pretty man? good. Feeling yeah. okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. I don't have any uh, anything wrong. I'm, uh, you know, other than being old. Well, I'm not old. I'm just older. Let's put it that way. I can't believe <laughs> you and I have known each other for so doggone long. How old is JJ now? Uh, He's got to be about 16, isn't he? 17. Just turned in 17. December. Can you believe it? And he's what six five now or something? Yeah, yeah, wonderful, oh, man. so oh much fun, my God. so much fun. Wow! And how many grandkids do you have now? <clears throat> Three point five. We got another one on the way, Larry. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Well, you're what they call a good Catholic family judge. I get it. (laughs) Hey, listen. um, Yeah, things Uh, are good, Larry. I mean, I'm just uh, surfing like crazy, and these charts are really starting to speak to us, aren't they? Yeah, they certainly are. You're going to talk to us a little bit about going to go across the pond and look at Europe. You want to tell us uh, we're looking at Europe financials um, right now? It's just a a mess over there, right? And so um, I, I took a look at the... I was actually just reading about, you know, the European banks and everything. And so I was like, you know, I haven't taken a look at the stock banks in a while. So I looked at that index and um, I'm not sure if we can get the chart up, but yeah, they're all, um, we've got all the charts ready to go. What's that? You have all your charts ready to go. So we're doing Europe financials right now, the weekly. Okay, good. Yeah. So if you look at that, I mean, all the rallies have essentially been the same, you know, air quotes time. And so that's this week. So that, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, whoa, uh, these things might start to crack. And then I thought to myself, okay, what was the ramifications to our market? So I overlaid the S&P on top of it. Um, and so even though the European banks cracked, it, it took our equities almost five to six months before, you know, we started back down in 2007. So not necessarily thinking or saying that our stock market's not, you know, undergoing a nice severe correction right now. But the real, you know, thumb, it, it didn't occur for almost half a year. So uh, I'm just going to keep watching those European banks um, very closely. And then I thought, well, there's got to be an ETF for them, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, if you take a look at that chart, um, the same thing there, right? And, you know, I love measured moves. And um, the measured moves right up into the most recent highs were exactly on time again. So it yeah. certainly appears that the European banks are getting ready for, uh, for some ugliness. Or, as you know, you've taught me over the years, patterns fail, right? And maybe yeah. they fail, and everything takes off, and everything is just peachy, right? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, but you yeah, know, it's right. ama- yeah, <laughs> you know, these measured moves, these A, B, C, Ds. I mean, it's really uh, uh, they don't work all the time, but they work most of the time. That's what I try to tell people. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and, yeah. And so that dash, you know, um, black one has a little bit higher to go, but the blue one, it's spot on. So, yeah. um, and now, now we can see the European uh, stock banks. And, I mean, that's a long-term weekly chart. And look at the time. I mean, the time for wow. each one of the rallies in the banks is spot on. And, and wow. this week, uh, we've hit another, um, another timing perspective. Yeah. Um, the other thing, too, is those banks haven't rallied at all. It's, right? well, the, it's unbelievable. Is, so the, um, let's keep an eye on those. And then I think we have our banking sector, right? Uh, yeah, well, that's X, but I want to make a comment about these Euro stock banks. If you look at that lower yeah, chart, yeah. folks, where the times are, look at that. This is incredibly bearish. You're talking about a time when it's most bullish the stock market has ever been in the history of the world. And from look where it is from 2007, for God's sake. You know, this is not a good sign for the European banks. Yeah. Right. They haven't rallied at all. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, I mean, zero. Um, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's virtually ugly. nothing. Okay, the and next Larry, one. you taught me right. Lower highs, lower lows. They're in a downtrend, quite frankly. Yeah, well, d- d- Bart, I ask you many times not to give that secret out, and here you did it again. <laughs> Shut the front door and raise the rent. I can't trust you with anything anymore. Oh my God! <laughs> Take everything don't, off the don't chart. Tell them, hey, to Jimmy, don't tell them about that. Don't tell them about the secret astrology stuff that we have, okay? Because that that oh right, we wink, can't wink, let them okay. have that. That would be too much. All right, we're going to take a look at. Uh, you're going to have to tell the old cowboy what PFE PFE is because uh, is that Pfizer? Yes, oh, I okay. thought that was just an amazing chart. So. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, in the midst of, you know, this pandemic that we've been found, uh, you know, ourselves in for two plus years, 
Pfizer went up and smacked into not only one, and that's a monthly chart too since you know yeah. since the IPO, but uh-huh. not only one but two um, big ABCDs. And then you've got an extension from the the 2007 high. So, uh, boy, it certainly doesn't look, uh, you know, bullish to us. And the way we look, again, it could cruise right through it. But um, Mm. there's Pfizer Monthly screaming at two ABCDs from a monthly chart. So it's it's a significant resistance up there. What that means for the pandemic and the vaccines, I have no idea. But Uh. ABCD, (laughs) yeah, pretty amazing. ABCD. Like Mark Douglas used to say, A, B equals C, D. That's the one for me. That's what he always used to say. Let's take a look here. The, the next one here we have is the, uh, I love this chart. And and tell the folks, Jimmy, uh, you know, you don't do the traditional uh, Elliott wave counting and stuff. You you keep it rel- relatively simple. Is is that correct? That's, that's right, Larry. I mean, I've taught it when uh, I used to be part of the CMTI. And um, uh-huh. I like to tell people I love Elliott wave when it works. Uh-huh. <laughs> But what yeah. I mean by that is, you know, I try to keep my counts to weeklies and monthlies. It's like playing golf, you know. You have that uh-huh. person who, hey, what'd you get? And they turn around and they start, you know, pointing their finger and give me a five. And you're like, I swear I saw you shoot eight, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's like Ellie Wave. If I start counting the subwave of the subwave of the subwave, I'm wrong. So I yeah. try to keep it big picture. Um, yeah. So, uh, again, I love it when it works. But I found this one really interesting, Larry. Um, I went back to the all-time low on the Dow Jones Transportation Average, which was there in July 1932, um, and that's uh, at $13.43, and it goes way back there, so I'm not showing it here. But our A point from a price projection is that July 5th, 1932 low, and then we do the ABCD, and I mean, it smacked right into it, and boy, that looks really bearish for the transports. But what was interesting, and I was doing it getting ready for our little talk today, it's 89 months. <laughs> which is wow. a Fibonacci number since the all-time low of 1932. I'm like, uh-huh. or excuse me, 89 years. I'm like, huh, look at that. Boom, wow. right on time. So uh, this stuff's there, right? So I don't know how we can be very bullish for the transportation sector with, with that type of ABCD. When, when you got a 89-year ABCD, it's either going to explode right through it and everything is all good. Or, yeah. yeah, that's not looking too good, is it? And look at that wick. I mean, I, oof, that looks ugly. It really yeah, does. yeah, it certainly does. Uh, Jim, we got to we got to take a break here in just a few minutes, yeah. and then when we're finished with that, we'll have you on again for another segment, and then let you go. Okay, buddy. Sounds we, great, we, Larry. We, it's always yeah, great to bet. talk to you, man. And be good. You bet. Yeah, stay no stay with us. We got kiddo. one more one more segment, and then we'll when then we'll let you go. Okay, I want you to see this banking oh, okay, index. Sure. I'll, I'll got hold it, on. Going. You bet. No worries. Uh, you know, Jim, keep talking because they've told me that I, I haven't seen a, an indication that there's going to be a uh, break or anything. No one's told me anything. So let's just get this one up and take a look at it. Uh, there's the break. We'll be right. Have a little off, a little <laughs> off, uh, All right. off timing today. All right. We'll be right back, folks. Jim Bartleone. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're talking with Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. Jim, we have a question for one of our listeners, and that is, uh, when we look at these charts of these different things that we're looking at, uh, how do you put your trades on? Do you use ETFs, or what's the vehicle that you use to uh, to put these uh, positions on? Um, I'll, I'll use all, right? Um, so I'm with an um, investor. <laughs> The, I'm with Interactive Brokers, so um, I'll trade the spot currency market. Um, I'll go in with levered ETFs. I'll do single stocks. So uh, okay. it's any number of vehicles. It's not one. Okay, that's good. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this last chart, which is the banking index chart, another ABCD yeah, pattern for me, yeah. I see? And, Larry, before we start, i got to tell you, the music you have that starts your um, show, you know, in between the commercials, <laughs> I get so yeah. excited when I hear that. Da, 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 da. It's awesome. So anyway. Um, <laughs> Jim, <laughs> you're getting old if that excites you. <laughs> uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> but I'm no, like, that's, oh, that's such great music. Larry, this yeah, is another one, right? I mean, the banks lead us up, the banks lead us down. So this is the banking index, um, KBW, NASDAQ. Um, and there's our measured moves, right? So... And technically, we could call it a monthly uh, butterfly because that you know middle point it does not exceed the high to the left. So we've got a monthly butterfly with an ABCD and the extensions. I mean, the banking index is here, you know. Yep, it's about right. It's there's nothing else you can do about that. That's for sure. Listen, so, and it's about three or four percent higher. Uh, you know, yeah. so it's either stopping here at the one two seven, or it's going to go up and complete that measured move, but. If we can look at some probability, I want to be around to try to short the banks when, when that black uh, dashed arrow is tagging. I think it's, what, a, like 1.382 or so, but it's there. So we're, well, it, things are getting interesting for sure. Okay, listen, I want to thank you for being on the show. We'll have you on again soon. And uh, uh, Anytime, Larry. I love talking to you, and I love hearing well, the intro music, too. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll 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 try to get Mozart on. Well, he's gone now, is he? We'll have to find somebody else, I guess. Hey, listen, I thanks for it, joining man. us, and give your bride my regards. And uh, you know, uh, I've never met you. JJ. I hope to meet him someday, but uh, hopefully, well, I've got him been... training now. I actually gave him your book uh, oh, um, dear. about the patterns, and I said, okay, I'll open you a brokerage account if you read the book. He read it, and so uh, I'm getting him yeah. uh, trading the chart. Yeah. He's still like, hold on, what? I'm like. Trust me, Jay, the patterns work. But they only work because they tell us where we're wrong. Right, Larry? You got it, brother. That's absolutely correct. All right. Hey, thanks awesome, for joining Larry. us. Thanks for everything. Bart, really appreciate it, folks. Uh, Jim Bartley, folks, and Bart's Charts. 
And uh, let's move on here. We've got the gold trading up here almost. Yeah, we just hit 1842 uh, in the gold. So these things are getting, folks, if these markets fail today in the stock market, you don't want to be long because it's going to get really, really nasty out there. So just be very, very careful as you do these things, as always. And uh, that's the main thing that you want to do. It's the amount of money that you have to risk, not how much money uh, you're going to uh, make a very, very important format. Let's uh, move over here here to uh, a couple things that we need to focus on, I believe, here, because they're so very, very important. And we're going to talk about the euro here because we had our good friend uh, Bob A. wanted to ask. Here is what we were looking at starting the week, and I'll tell you why things change from that level. We were looking to possibly see that there was going – this is, remember, this was a daily, and we wanted to see if that 382 was going to hold – and that, of course, you know, happened Sunday night. We went through that like it didn't even exist, but we did come right down to that uh, 130 level, which held pretty well. And so far, we've had a little bit of rally from there. But once it went through that 382, that told us that we had to look down towards that next level. That's why you see that stops where it says stop is here. That means that if you get below that part, you know, there's something really wrong. And if you'll update the chart, which I don't have time to do right now, you'll be able to see that that's exactly what happened. Happened. We had the 135 pattern forming, and I sent a special video out on that last night on, uh, you know, getting ready to, you know, be, buy the euro because it looks like it's uh, moving pretty good. And, of course, when we look at the euro, what do we have to do is we have to go back and we have to look at that dollar index because the dollar index is, you know, as we know, 53% uh, of that value. So let's start out by looking at the dollar index Hold here on one second here on the weekly basis. We'll get this up here. And there we are. Put this up here so the folks can see it. Here's the Dow Jones. <laughs> Here's the dollar index on the weekly. You'll notice that we made the 50% retracement 10 weeks ago. We backed off yesterday. This past week was an exact 61% retracement of point C. You're going to see that on the daily. But what's happening now, and it's, it's very important from a trend standpoint, and as you, you hear all the time, you know, the trend is your friend. So if we go down to the dollar index, and we look at this on the daily basis. You're going to see that uh, 382, 61% ret retracement that we hit just a few days ago. But look what we have forming now, folks. You know, that's the 135 pattern. You see that down sloping channel line? That's the 135 pattern where you have symmetry between 1, 3, and 5. And that's what's going on today. So if the uh, dollar index doesn't, you know, explode to the upside, it's going to be in trouble because it looks like it's ready, you know, to roll over. Over. And anything below that 95 level, uh, 9480, uh, you're going to be looking at, uh, you know, another ABCD taking it down quite a bit, which would mean the euro moving up well over, well over a dollar, you know, so that's it, you know. Oh, so let me ask you about the gold. Uh, the gold looks really good, Danny. The the gold is the gold has broken out of the of the area. There's going to be some resistance up there at 1852, but hold the GDX calls. They still look good. Uh, I I felt that way a long time ago. I still think they're looking. I'm a sold out bull, and uh, that's not the way to be. But uh, market's been very good to us, and it will continue to be. But I missed this move up. I had the buy in at 1808. I canceled it because of just being uh, overly conservative or. Over overly nervous because I thought there was a possibility we could have a big washout, you know, bring down, uh, mainly led by the uh, cryptocurrency boys. And I still think the cryptocurrency boys are in big trouble, but uh, that's just my two cents worth. But that was the main reason why I canceled the thing. I was thinking instead of looking, you know, trade what you see, not what you believe. I, fully, I failed that class on the gold, but uh, I fail I fail a few, but uh, pick also pick up a few. So remind ourselves that's what we're watching. Keep a really close eye on this uh, euro, folks, because anything, if that euro should really explode, either, and if it does explode, I think it would be to the upside, which means the dollar would weaken, which make good sense to me because the treasury bond market is in severe trouble. And, you know, people uh, are not buying the bonds like they did, but, you know, we're still due for a rally just because it's 
it's so, you know, so very, very oversold. So those are the things that I'm really trying to, uh, you know, to see, you know, what we're looking at here. So I hope that helps. I'm just giving you uh, my two cents worth for what I'm looking at. And that's uh, all I can tell you is what I'm seeing. And that's it. All I know is, folks, for one thing is if we go below those lows we made last night in the S&P at uh, 1835, okay, you know, that was a monster ABCD pattern. And if we go below, if especially if we go below uh, 15,040 in the NASDAQ, that's breaking two standard deviations, folks. That's Christ City. That's where the real problem would uh, would really uh, possibly happen. So remind ourselves that that's, uh, you know, what we're looking at here. So I certainly hope that helps. So we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I want to end the show with what I think is the most important chart that we're going to be looking at over the next few days here. That's this one in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We'll get this up here so you can watch it here. You'll be able to see here that we have a you know beautiful butterfly top up there at 36, 30, what, 37,000, almost 36,9. Uh, fortunately, we were able to get short uh, a little bit lower than that, but did pretty good. And now what we're looking at here is as long as we can hold these lows of last night, 
And fact is, remember, one time we were up several hundred points. We gave it all back, and now we're back fooling around here. We held the 61% retracement so far. But, folks, if we go below these levels uh, that we made last night in the NASDAQ, 10,000, 15,050, if we go below that, below 40, uh, 5,000. 37 in the S&P, there's going to be big trouble. And maybe that's what the gold market and the crude market and all these other markets are telling us that, yep, there's something going on out here. So be very careful. Be afraid. Be very afraid, as they say in the trade. I don't know who said that in the movies, but that was always something very, very funny. I thought it was Don Adams, but no, I don't I don't think it was him. Uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, by the way, I'll say one more time, we're ending up the show here tomorrow. We've got uh, Stan Harley. And then on Friday, we're going to have uh, Joe DiNapoli. Well, my voice has had as about as much as it can handle today, boys and girls. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Uh.